Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for being here and taking time out of your busy day. I really appreciate it. And I'll let him kind of talk a little bit and introduce me if she wants. <laughs> <Yes>. or... <laughs> this is Laura, and she is my mentor for oils, and she's the one that taught me oils and taught me the things I know. Anytime I have a question, or <laughs> so help me, help me. So um, I'm going to turn this over to Laura and have her teach you everything that she's taught me. Thanks, Pam. And this is real informal. Like I said, if you guys want a snack or go to the bathroom or whatever you need to do, please feel free to do so. I, my, back, my background's actually a doctorate in physical therapy. I never thought I would get into natural remedies or functional medicine or any of that. And it was actually through my own health challenges of having a very rare sarcoma in my abdomen in 2011 that kind of got me interested into looking at more holistic approaches to my health and healing along my own personal journey and through that i became a certified women's health and functional nutrition coach i took a one-year certification in that and i'm currently taking a two-year nutritional technology practitioner training program to kind of dive deeper and learn more and what i find fascinating is both in the research and in these programs that i'm doing we talk a lot about essential oils and how they can help and support us. So I came from being a healthcare professional and show me the evidence and I wanna see if this is uh, research-based to really being open to trying to spot anything and essential oils worked for me. And I was like, okay, this is, this is fascinating. I gotta share this with more people. So I think the best way to start is to actually have your own experience with the essential oils. So one of the things that I love to do is wild orange and peppermint. And this combination is really invigorating, it's really uplifting, but what you can do, we'll pass these around for you guys. And I'll kind of demo and show you too. And you just start, you can either put your hand over the top of the bottle and just flip it over to get kind of just enough oil, or you can put it on and hold it about a 45 degree and get a drop. They do come out fast, so just be cautious. And you can rub it together in your hands. You can inhale it, so you can cup your hands over your mouth and nose, and just kind of breathe it in. It's a little strong, so if you're new, you might want to hang out here. <laughs> and then put some on the back of your neck and on your shoulders. And this is a great thing to do, like if you're having that 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. slump, a great way to kind of perk you up and get you energized a little bit without the sugar or the caffeine. So <laughs> it's at different times of day for people. <laughs> you can get a dried out. And just peppermint and wild orange. And it just smells good. You can even rub some on your forehead, on the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah, we like to kind of combine them together. It's okay, it's all good. Kind of rub it in and smell it. It's a very nice one. It just smells really good. So if you're watching on Facebook Live, you should get out your oils and do it too with us. <laughs> And it's just very uplifting, invigorating. Peppermint kind of opens up the airways. It helps with supporting your breathing. Wild orange, depending on what you pair it with, when you pair it with peppermint, is very uplifting, energizing, helps to kind of put you in a good mood. And so we want to just mention what essential oils are, first off. And um, some of you guys got a handout, and you can follow along that way, too, or if you want to take notes. But essential oils are just naturally occurring aromatic compounds and they come from the plant. So from the seeds, from the bark, from the stems, from the flowers, from different areas of the plant. And this is really what protects the plant against those environmental threats. So I like to think of it as the plant's immune system, so to speak. And that's what kind of keeps it protected from other insects or things in nature. And they're very, very concentrated. So when you use them, they are about 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. So as an example, one drop of peppermint is about equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So like we all know, most of us hear that peppermint's really great for our tummy to support our digestive system, and one drop is 28 cups of peppermint tea. So you're getting a big bang for your buck there. Um, and 
they've really been used throughout history. So we think of essential oils, they're kind of becoming a new buzzword. We're kind of seeing them around Bed Bath & Beyond and Walmart now has essential oils. They're popping up everybody, but these are not new. They've been used throughout history for beauty treatments, for health support, for even in our food. We use essential oils and they're pretty, um, pretty awesome. So the wild orange that you guys just put on, it's very cleansing. It can be really great to kind of cleanse and purify your home. You can add a drop to your water. So my private health coaching clients, they know that they need to drink more water, but they're kind of bored with their water. So they can add a drop and it really helps to kind of taste really good. Or you can just diffuse it to kind of help with mood support, which is nice. And we have um, a diffuser going here. There's one over there. We've got um, some oils going. So diffusing is just a nice way to also be exposed to the essential oils, which is nice. And then there is a really important distinction to make with this. So with essential oils, there is no governing agency that regulates the quality and the therapeutic rate of that oil, kind of similar to our supplements. So it's kind of on the user to make sure that these are safe and pure and okay for, um, for use. So what I love about doTERRA, and after doing a lot of research with that, that's the reason why I chose doTERRA essential oils, is because they are certified pure therapeutic grade. And what that means is they are free from fillers, from different artificial ingredients. They are what we call above organic, so they don't have any contaminants, pesticides, anything like that. Um, and the big difference with doTERRA is they're actually sourced from their indigenous regions. So we always joke here in West Texas, we could try to grow a frankincense tree. I'm not sure if it would survive. <laughs> it's a little hot here right now. Um, probably wouldn't thrive, and any farmer or gardener knows that everything from the quality of the soil to the weather to when even the time that we harvest these plants has an effect on the therapeutic medicinal value of the oil. So this is what really kind of sets doTERRA apart is they went out and found and they actually work with the growers and the artisans and the farmers of where these plants thrive. These families have been growing these plants for generations and go in and partner with them so that we're getting the best quality, purest plants that we can find on the planet to make our oils. So as an example, frankincense comes from Somalia or Oman, doTERRA's lavender is sourced from France, doTERRA's lemon is sourced from Italy. So it really makes a difference in that therapeutic value. And then testing is really, really, really important. So doTERRA has third party testing that happens multiple times. There's actually seven different tests that the oils go through to make sure that they don't get adulterated, contaminated anywhere in that process. And what's really cool is now, all of doTERRA's oils have a little code underneath them, and you can go to a website called Source to You, type in that code, and actually see the test results for your bottle of oil, which is pretty awesome. I don't know any other company that's doing that. So doTERRA has partnered with John Hopkins um, and done some research studies with them, and it was fascinating because they were getting results, and they were like, okay, send me another bottle of oil. Same results. Send me another bottle of oil. Same results. And they weren't seeing that with any other company consistent from many different batches of oil and I think that's just accredited to all of the testing that they go through and what they do in that process so that is really really cool um, the co-impact sourcing is really amazing I think it goes back to the heart of doTERRA to not go over and take over those lands but some of the places where we source our oils from are third world impoverished nations. They actually exchange for payment with food. Um, they go in and help with running water. When the natural disasters were happening in Haiti, doTERRA's Healing Hands was one of the first to arrive at the scene to kind of help with that. So there's many reasons why I love doTERRA, but especially their humanitarian efforts and kind of what they're doing ethically. I feel like, oh, I can't get my oils from anywhere else because I just kind of love the heart of the company too. But those are all things to consider. If you go to the health food store and get a bottle of essential oil, and I actually forgot to bring those out. They're back in my pantry. They're all dusty. Um, but when we finish, remind me, I'll bring them out, and you guys can do a side-by-side -side smell comparison. One smells very synthetic, and one actually smells like lavender or peppermint with that. And I save them just to, just to show the difference because I'm a very – I want to get the best deal on everything. And so I started with those oils and wasn't noticing an effect. And it wasn't until I tried doTERRA. because I was like, ah, essential oils don't work. <laughs> and it wasn't until I got a higher quality oil that I noticed a difference. So doTERRA's oils really do have that therapeutic grade 
medicinal grade that what we're looking for when we're using oils. And the big difference is you'll also notice on doTERRA's oils, there is a supplement fact on the bottle of oil, just like you would see on food. So it is safe for internal use. And a lot of the oils that you will find at Bed Bath & Beyond, the health food store, places like that, they have been adulterated. Um, they are not for internal use and they will actually say for aromatic use only. So not even to put it on your skin. Because <laughs> we forget the skin is the largest organ and whatever we put onto our skin is going to be absorbed into our bloodstream. And definitely if we're going to take something internally. So all good things to just kind of be aware of as a consumer when looking at essential oils. There's a couple different ways that we can use the essential oils. So the first is aromatic, and that's what we did when we put it in our hands and we just kind of inhaled it in. Or having a diffuser is another example. This is gonna be the best way to use your oils for emotional or respiratory support. So supporting your breathing, or if you are going through an emotional challenging time or you're feeling stressed or something like that, diffusing, getting that aromatic use can be really amazing for that. Um, we've had many people just in our oils family that were um, on inhalers, told you to be on this inhaler forever and actually got off and swapped to breathe and it was a really amazing thing for them. So um, you can use them in many different ways. It just helps to kind of cleanse and purify the air. So we forget that candles, air fresheners, plug-ins, things like that, those are endocrine disruptors. Those are really hard. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot go through the cleaning aisle at Walmart without getting a headache because that's just yuck. It's just a bunch of um, synthetic things and that's affecting our hormones, even uh, our thyroid can contribute to weight gain, can contribute to a lot of different things. Um, and we want to decrease our toxic load. And we think about that like with, okay, our food and our water and stuff, but um, so much of what we put on our skin or use on our body or in our homes, what we're cleaning, um, you know, you pick up a bottle of cleaner and it says, uh, please call poison control if your child you know, gets into this. And it's like, oh my gosh. Um, so it really is kind of a lifestyle looking at different things and kind of upgrading in that way. And I feel like essential oils fit beautifully in that, um, fit beautifully in my health coaching practice because a lot of my clients wanted safe alternatives to kind of help support their health and healing with that. So um, breathe is going to be for aromatic. So we'll pass this around. This is doTERRA's respiratory blend. It smells amazing and it does what it says it does. It just helps to maintain a clear open airway. If you have a spouse that snores, <laughs> or maybe you're the oh <laughs> guilty guilty is charged over here. <laughs> um, it's really did it work good? Yeah. So we have a lot of people like breathe can help your marriage, guys. <laughs> happy life, happy wife, right? Um, it is one of those that if you're the noisy sleeper. Um, diffusing it at nighttime, putting some over your chest to just help to kind of open your airways up. It's a game changer. Um, I found breathe in lime. That's what Andrew was saying. He's, did you, you tried it and noticed? Yeah, it was great. We, uh, it, so like you said, when Mark has a beer or whatever, he gets significant the worst time the same way. So we had been out to dinner, I got a beer with him and we tried the breathe in lime and she didn't have quick Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because usually, like, my husband, Mark, I'm like, hey, hey, you're snoring. <laughs> you're snoring. Um, and it's it's amazing. One of my mom's coworkers, he's this West Texas rough and tough uh, cowboy, and he asked for oils for something else, and it worked really well. And he jokingly said, do you have something for snoring? And I was like, well, why don't you try some breathe? And he called me the next day and said, my wife told me I have to buy a bottle of that because I wasn't <laughs> snoring anymore, which is really funny. So. Um, it just really helps to ease any congestion or if you have a cough, um, seasonal threats. My husband's really sensitive, uh, especially like when the pollen changes or around cats or dogs, that works really, really great to kind of help him. So it's, it's a really amazing oil and you can just smell. I mean, the results are almost instantly. You can just kind of feel that open up your airway, um, and help you to breathe. Can you sit with lime? With lime oil, yeah, that's a good combo. Breathe itself is really great, but I found breathe plus lime in the diffuser. And I was worried about like the 
combination of the two smell and weird. We love the smell of it. That smells good. Yeah, it's it's a nice combo for that. That works really well. Um, topical use is another way that you can use your essential oils, and that's kind of the nice thing is if you are having issues, right, knee pain, pain um, something like that, you can just apply it right where you need it, which is really refreshing for me because I take a lot of supplements, have a lot of things going on, and it's really nice to not have to take a another pill. <laughs> and the nice thing is the oils work at a cellular level. So they're helping to support you in that way, which is, which is really great. So it's another option. Really within two minutes of applying the oils topically, they can be seen in the bloodstream. Within 22 minutes, they can be seen in every cell. So that's pretty amazing. You can do this with little kids. You can put peppermint oil on the bottoms of their feet and wait about 15 minutes. And they usually love this. Have them blow into your face and you can actually smell the peppermint oil. <laughs> because it's circulated through their bloodstream. So it's kind of fun um, to get kids involved and see that too, which is really neat. And the only places we don't want to put our oils in mucous membranes. So we don't want them in our eyes, in our ears, up the nose. Um, other than that, it's pretty, um, pretty fair to put it wherever you need it. For topical use, Deep Blue is doTERRA's Soothing Blend. So this is the blend for pain. It is amazing. It's, it's my husband's favorite oil because he plays a lot of racquetball. <laughs> so he gets sore muscles and uses this a lot, but it's really great to just apply um, even before exercise. So you could put it on your feet, on your knees. If you have any areas, um, put it on before exercise and use it that way. So that's a nice option, but this is the deep blue. We'll pass that around and let you smell it. It kind of smells like a, a muscle rub. And works really, really well too for that. Um, and topical use is going to be really great, especially if you have any like skin issues. You could apply the oils topically and use that to support you. And then the third way to use your essential oils is internal use. And again, I just want to preface this is just with doTERRA essential oils. I do not recommend you taking essential oils internally with any other oil. Um, but it's really great. So it's empowering. Again, when they're 50 to 60 times more potent than herbs, we can cook with them. We can put them in our water. We can use them internally. So if you needed digestive support, liver support, kidney support, something in that area, um, basically from hole to hole, <laughs> if you're having issues, oils internally <laughs> will help with that <laughs> and support you <laughs> in that too, in that process. Yeah, you definitely can. Yeah, yeah. So you can put it in a bath. It works really well because, again, in the bath, it's, it's going to be heavily diluted because um, we've got a lot of water there. But I usually recommend about 10 drops of an essential oil in the bathtub would be a great thing to do, especially, you know, throw in two cups of Epsom salt and uh, do a, do a, yeah, it's, it's really, really great. And really the only thing with internal use is we don't want to drink our essential oils out of plastic, especially the citrus, because it actually breaks down those petrochemicals. Um, and we don't want that from the plastic into that. Um, that's just a good safety tip in general. So glass, stainless steel, ceramic, those are all going to be good ways to take your oils internally. So Tara does have these little veggie caps, which are kind of cool. So if you don't like the taste of an oil, you can put them in a little cap. And it kind of works nice. It just opens up. And then you just add that oil, close it up swallow it, take it internally. So uh, like as an example, lavender, lemon, and peppermint is a really nice natural antihistamine. So when pollen and you go outside in springtime or sensitive around cats and dogs, that's a really great one. And it doesn't taste awesome. You can put it in a little shot glass and kick it back. That's what I do, but my husband's like, oh, so we put it in a, <laughs> we put it in a, little, in a little thing so he doesn't have to taste it, which is nice. Um, and that's just going to be really great for especially immune support. And you can also use it as a natural mouthwash or mouth rinse. So peppermint, spearmint, On Guard, all of these are great oils that you can put in a drop and um, use as a natural mouthwash because, guys, there's some nasty stuff in Listerine and <laughs> in some of those mouthwashes. So it's a great way that we can kind of upgrade. So doTERRA's On Guard, this is actually the protective blend. And this is what we use to support a healthy immune system. Um, this is actually what we have diffusing. So we say it smells like Christmas, cleans like bleach. <laughs> it works really nicely. 
So it does have a lot of properties you can clean your house with this. There's um, on guard cleaner, the hand soap that we have in the bathroom is foaming hand soap, but you can play with that. It really just helps to fight germs, makes a really nice surface cleaner, um, can help to soothe a sore throat. There's clove in there. Clove has a numbing agent, which is really nice for that. Um, so whenever anybody in our house starts to feel like they're getting under the weather a little bit, thank you so much. Um, we're diffusing on guard immediately, on guard and Melaleuca. We are putting that on the bottoms of our feet. We are taking that internally and doing that. So especially back to school, <laughs> that tends to be a good time to use a lot of on guard. Um, you can even put a drop or two in a glass spray bottle. See, this is my on guard spray right here for my kitchen. And this makes a really nice surface spray or hand spray. So this is my, I just handled raw chicken and I'm gonna spray down my countertops, my cutting board, all of those things too. So you can do a ton with On Guard. It is pretty awesome. And then some of the other oils that are really great, frankincense, a lot of people's heard of frankincense. We think of it as the baby Jesus oil. We've often heard that frankincense and myrrh were given to the Christ child. Um, it was pretty funny. My dad, the other day, he was, uh, he had a little spot on his head. He's kind of, getting into oils a little bit but a little bit hesitate and hesitation there and he has a little spot on his head and it's been coming back and they've had to burn it off and it's painful so he was like okay Lord what can I like what oils can I use I was like well let's try some frankincense and he kind of looked at me like do you think that'll help and I jokingly said it was good enough for Jesus then <laughs> like maybe we should try it <laughs> the Bible talks about it so um that was kind of funny but this is frankincense we hear about it a lot it promotes um, peace and relaxation. It's really great. Hi, come in, come in. Um, it's really great to help support wound healing, support scars. So I just had some big hip surgeries and I've been putting it around um, my hips to kind of help with scars. It helps reduce inflammation. It helps to strengthen your immune system. Basically, the joke that we say is when in doubt, pull frankincense out. Like if you have no idea, if you're like, I don't know what to use, use your frankincense. <laughs> it will cover you. Um, if you're having really bad head and neck tension, you can put a drop under your tongue. That will also help to calm anxious feelings. It's just amazing. Like there's a reason why this was given to the Christ child. It's just an amazing oil. Um, so we'll pass this around. Uh, so for immune, for emotional support. It's okay. um, and that's the big one because frankincense is one of the pricier oils. Frankincense is sourced from Oman or Somalia. And so if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond and they've got frankincense for $5, I guarantee you that is adulterated. <laughs> I guarantee you that is not frankincense. And if you smell it, I'm like, this is, this is not the frankincense I know I'd love. There's, there's something in there. So that is, uh, is always kind of a good thing to do too. Um, so lavender. Lavender, we often think of it as the gateway oil. So lavender is usually the first essential oil that people will try. People are really familiar with lavender. It's calming. It smells really nice. This is the all things calm oil. And I love the way that doTERRA's lavender smells. So this is sourced from France. And it really helps to kind of calm any um, emotional, like anxious feelings, sadness, helps to promote restful sleep. So actually a really great place to put your oils is the bottoms of the feet because we have very large pores there that can help for quick absorption. So to help support your sleep. If you have pain, so aches or pain, headache, anything like that, you can put lavender on to support you. Anything skin, uh, burns, this is summertime, sunburns. <laughs> if you burn yourself in the kitchen, I cannot tell you how many times lavender has saved me where I accidentally grabbed something that was hot and Put lavender on immediately it's immediately cooling it doesn't even blister it heals right away it's pretty amazing it's pretty astounding so um, I think if I had to have like one oil it would be really hard but if I had to pick one oil it would probably be lavender because there's so many things that you can do with lavender for that um, it also helps a lot if you have restlessness when you're trying to go to sleep yeah uh, I'll rub it on my legs right right in bed if that's happening a lot oh that's a great Great tip, yeah, anything calm, all things calming. You can put it on your dog's collar, like we just had 4th of July and all the fireworks and stuff. Um, calm your dog, calm your kids. <laughs> if you got a little, oh! <laughs> just some lavender. Oh, yeah, you can put, um, 
if you have a little toddler, right, their favorite word is no. They're a little rambunctious. You can put some lavender and wild orange on their spine and just watch them kind of chill. <laughs> That's kind of fun. We were at a family reunion and our cousins had um, some little ones and we were sleeping below them. And the little one was upstairs just screaming, just screaming. I was like, may I please, um, <laughs> like, can I apply a little lavender on your child? It would be really great. I think the whole house would really appreciate that. Um, so it's, it's very nice to uh, kind of calm everybody down. Lemon is, um, lemons, doTERRA's lemon is actually sourced from Italy. It's so, I love it. It's, it just smells clean. You can clean your whole house with lemon, baking soda, and vinegar. It's, it's a really great oil. So for immune support, for respiratory support, um, if you have a runny nose, if you're having congestion, again, that combo peppermint, lavender, and lemon works really, really well for that. Anything sticky, so getting stickers off of stuff, your child got gum in their hair, they wrote with a magic marker all over the kitchen table, lemon. <laughs> Just get you some lemon and go to town with that. It's great, again, for cleaning um, surfaces, for sanitizing those surfaces. Also for any heartburn or reflux, doing a drop of lemon in your water maybe 20 minutes before meals can be a game changer. Even putting it in warm water and having that in the morning, it's very alkalizing, very supportive of digestion, works really, really well, um, makes a nice natural furniture polish. You can do a lot with lemon. Um, that is pretty nice. And then we have melaleuca. So melaleuca is also known as tea tree oil. So we've often heard of that. This is basically any funky skin stuff. <laughs> melaleuca. <laughs> like, like, um, I was, I was, took grains out and I was reintroducing grains and my body obviously didn't like it. Cause look at that right there. Like mm -hmm, that popped up and I was like, Melaleuca, <laughs> I just put it on. So, um, pimples, blemishes, um, any funky stuff going on, toenail stuff, any funky skin stuff, Melaleuca for that, um, really helps to fight any germs or fungal stuff. Um, helps to support your immune system as well. So that's why when anybody starts to feel under the weather, on guard, and the Leluca go right into our diffuser, we're applying that topically, we're using that. Um, it can also help to kind of clean your hands or any surfaces, anything like that. So if your kids get bumps or scrapes, this is a great natural kind of disinfectant to put on them and it doesn't burn. So this is a great way, you know, kind of tell them, okay, this is going to support your body to heal right up. And you can put a band aid on. I think they need to come out with essential oil band aids. That'd be like the coolest thing ever because we like band-aids, right? But it's like, let's just put some stuff to support you and, and do that. That would be really fun. That's on my list of things like, hey, doTERRA, can you make some, some oil band-aids for us? Oregano. Oregano is, this is the big guns. This is the big guns heavy hitter for immune support, for germ fighting. This is basically like nature's big guns immune support. So be careful with this. Do not touch this. <laughs> it is hot, hot, hot. Um, so it's a hotter oil, it's a spicier oil. We do have fractionated coconut oil here to dilute it if that is a little bit too intense for anybody or if you accidentally get it on yourself. Um, but it is very powerful. So again, we said essential oils are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So you actually don't want to put a drop of this in your spaghetti sauce. It will be too much. <laughs> if you were going to use oregano in your cooking, you just like put a little toothpick in that orifice reducer and do figure eight swirls because even one drop is, is too much. Um, for that. But when somebody starts to feel sick, we will put a drop or two, my husband and I, in a veggie cap and take that internally. Um, and often do that with On Guard as well. And that's just a big gun. So if you've got sore throat, if you've got um, even aching joints and muscles, you can take that internally in a capsule too as well. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, peppermint, we passed it around and you guys got to experience it, but peppermint was, it's very, very great for digestive support. So upset tummy, not feeling good. And again, it's cool. You can take it internally or you can just apply it right to your tummy. Um, that works really well. Very energizing. Helps to kind of ease tension. It's great for headache. And so you can apply it right over the head, temples, back of the neck. Those are all really great places to smell it. Um, Carsick. Peppermint works really, really well for that. There are some research studies that show that it helps with your O2 support, so your oxygen uptake. And I've played with this with my clients and my friends that are athletes, where they put it on their chest or they inhale it and smell it and they feel like they have better runs. They're able to exercise more. So I like to do 
frankincense and peppermint over my chest and apply that before I go work out, which is kind of nice. Um, and then last but not least, Digest Zen. So Digest Zen is our digestive support blend. Um, I will warn you, if you do not like the smell of fennel or black licorice, you might not like this, but I love it. It actually reminds me of my grandfather, so I, li I like that smell. But this is really, really great for either using it internally or over the stomach. Um, and people usually have a strong thing, right? We either love or hate that smell. <laughs> There's kind of no in between. But it works amazing, amazing, amazing for any type of digestive support. So especially little ones, you can put it, you can make a roller bottle and put it like right around the belly button works really well. Taking a drop internally works really nicely. Um, helps with any kind of motion sickness, nausea if you're not feeling very well, because it's got ginger and fennel and peppermint and all of these great things to support that. Um, even acid reflux or burning things too, that would be a really, really nice one. And interesting, this is a hotter one, so you do want to dilute, but you can actually put it diluted with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil over the sinuses, and that will just really help to ease any sinus pressure, just kind of open that up. That's pretty awesome too. And uh, coconut oil, so we should talk a little bit about carrier oil. So I like fractionated coconut oil. That's kind of my favorite one because it doesn't stain. It's absorbed pretty quickly. It doesn't make a big mess. You could really use any, any kind of natural oil that you wanted. There's macadamia nut oil, almond oil, jojoba, emu, any of those. But just some of the oils that are on the hotter side, and actually in the magazine that you guys have, there is a section, I don't have the page memorized, but if you open it up, it kind of goes through all of the oils and it actually has a little key for you that shows um, how you can use the oils. So if it's aromatic, internal, topical, and then if it's got a red D, that means always, always dilute. So it's a hotter oil. So you want to have your fractionated coconut oil on there. Anybody finding it? Is it in there? <laughs> Yes, perfect. Thanks, Julie. Page 38. And there should be a little key there, and you can see all the oils, and it kind of goes through and shows you which ones are internal, which ones are topical, which ones for aromatic, and that helps. And, and just a quick reference, like you kind of mentioned, if you're not sure if you can take an oil internally, if it has the supplement facts on the bottle, you can take it internally with that. So that's just a quick reference guide for you, too, on that. And really, in this class, in this intro class, we're just kind of keeping it very simple we're skimming through the basics we can't go through all the things of the essential oils but those are the top 10 you can do a lot with the top 10 oils there and kind of have those in your home and what we do is we like to continue and offer education and support with this so this is just the beginning with everything that we do and we have a private facebook group for our oily family that we do continuing monthly classes on different topics. We provide a lot of education, a lot of support, a lot of videos. You'll see Andrew here, he's live streaming this um, into our group so that our new Oilers, because um, we have kind of a global network. I've got Oilers in Canada, East Coast, West Coast, um, to just support and have that. Because really, now essential oils are popping up everywhere and we can find them in those places, but it's, where are you gonna get that continued support? Who is going to help you? Um, you can buy oils from Bed Bath & Beyond, but you may not know how to use them. They're probably not, well, I can guarantee you they're not good quality oils um, to be using, but having that support and that continued education and, and somebody to help you. So what we do is when people get started with doTERRA and with us, we actually schedule a welcome call where we go through, we get your oils out, we help you get started, we show you how to dilute your oils, we show you how to make roller blends because you want to dilute differently for kids and adults. We talk to you about all of that and get really specific in that. We do membership overview calls with people to kind of just help support them and so they know how to do that. But this is just the beginning, we're just kind of skimming the surface with everything. There should be a little section in your booklet that kind of talks to you about the different options with um, getting started with doTERRA. I'm not sure what page that's on, but there's a couple different options. doTERRA is set up like a Sam's Club or a Costco where it's actually a $35 for the wholesale prices. And I always forget, there's retail too, 
um, Pam has a website or whoever invited you to the class has a website and you can go and you can purchase it retail, but I don't recommend it because you're paying 25% more. Why would we do that? Um, I guess if you just wanted to try one oil and, and do that, you could do that. But really having the wholesale prices is pretty awesome for that. And when you bundle, you save. So actually doTERRA has several starter kits that are set up, which are really nice. They have those top 10 oils that we talked about and went through all of those. And when you get started with a starter kit, it waves that $35 fee. So that is kind of the most economical way that you can save and get started with your oils that way. The home essentials kit is probably one of the most popular kits there. It comes with all 10 of the essential oils that we mentioned and also a diffuser. So this is the petal diffuser. It covers about 330 square feet. We've got one running back there that you can go check out. Um, but I would highly recommend if you don't have a diffuser to get a diffuser. doTERRA has some great diffusers. I also have some great diffusers that I got off Amazon. Um, this diffuser over here, it's awesome. Amazon, it was like 30 bucks and I love it. So I have both. Uh, but the diffuser is really great to start to kind of cleanse and purify the air for the respiratory support, for the emotional support. Um, it's really, really nice. So that is a great kit to kind of help you. And there's kits up and down from that. The natural solutions is pretty much like, hey, I want to completely transform my whole lifestyle. And it's got the soap and the toothpaste and all this stuff that we didn't even talk about and kind of have there. Um, it's even got a box to like store your oils, which sounds silly, but when you start using oils, it's nice to have a place to keep them. <laughs> and then the family essentials is a really nice kit as well. It's pretty similar to the home essentials kit. The only difference is as an example with the home essentials kit. Oh, I thought I had a smaller bottle here. I have one over here. So these larger bottles, will hold, um, these are 15 ml bottles, and these will hold 250 drops. And then the smaller bottles, the 15 ml are this size, and they will hold about 80 to 85 drops, depending on the viscosity of the oil. So I think of Family Essentials as like a good starter kit. You get all of the oils, the smaller oils there for you um, to kind of have for really um, less than double the price, you get two thirds more oil when you're kind of looking at those two and deciding what works best for you. And then there is an Aroma Touch diffused kit that comes with a petal diffuser. And that is a really nice option as well. It's the smaller bottles of oil. It does come with the fractionated coconut oil too. And it has eight of the top oils. It doesn't have frankincense. So I tell people if frankincense is an oil that you really need, that you wanna kind of have on hand, um, maybe doing the family essentials or the home essentials kit is a nice one and we have links in our um, team and we can share those with you of kind of our favorite diffusers from Amazon. Um, you can get some really nice ones for 20 to 30 bucks. So I tell people you have to choose, get the higher quality oils because we can get you diffusers um, from there. But frankincense, a large bottle of frankincense um, this size is retail value $93 because it is sourced, it is pure, it is therapeutic grade frankincense. So um, just getting the frankincense in the home essentials or the family essential kit is a, a really nice value with that too um, that we have. We do have um, a couple kind of goodies because we can give you all the information and you can take all of this education and have that, but we really want to reward people who want to jump in and get started with that. So um, Pam, and I, we have um, kind of set up, if you get started with a kit, if you're interested, um, today we are going to throw in rollers. These are my favorite rollers from the Root and Petal and Fractionated Coconut Oil that will come your way from Amazon. And doTERRA has fractionated coconut oil, and I like it, but I like that this one has a pop because it just makes it so much easier um, when making rollers and using. And the Root and Petal, um, Becky at the Root and Petal, she's a dear friend of mine, and these are really great. So they are colored, which one is just fun to color coordinate your oils. <laughs> and even kids can look and know. Um, one of my besties, Hillary, she has a five-year-old daughter, and she knows the blue top is for her tummy, and the red one is for her immune system. And kids are great. They love oils. They love to get empowered with this, too. But those are nice. Um, but what I love about them as well is the rollers inside. I have glass um, rollers, not plastic. So a lot of the ones on Amazon have plastic, and they can leak. And we don't want to be um, – this is liquid gold. 
<laughs> we don't want to waste our liquid gold and um, we don't want that going all over our purse. So these are nice um, to have the little glass rollers there. And what we do is when you get started, we set up a welcome call with you, um, either in person or over Zoom. And we, you have all of your goodies and we go over your personal health and wellness goals. And we're like, okay, we're going to make rollers for digestive support or immune support. And we show you how to make rollers for you, for your family, how to use your diffusers, all of that. Because again, the education and the support and having somebody kind of hold your hand with this is so huge. I've had so many people come to us um, from different oil, essential oil companies or even from doTERRA, but they weren't getting the support. And that's one of the things that I really um, pride. I love our oils family and our team, but we do a lot of education and support with that. Um, and then also, if anybody wants to get started today, I'm kind of throwing in um, a couple other goodies. We have a diffuser recipe book. Um, so this is really nice. It kind of gives you a bunch of tools to get started with. There's a top 10, the top 10 oils that we talked about, just a simple little book to kind of help you with that. Um, a user guide. So this is really nice because you can quickly look up, like if you're like, okay, um, I'm feeling really anxious. What oil do I need? You can look it up. There's a whole um, thing there. And then just it nicely and keeps it really simple, which I love, goes through all of the oils. Tells you which ones to dilute, tells you. So this is a really nice thing to just kind of keep in your purse and have on hand to support you. Um, I also want people to just have oils ready to go because um, while you're waiting for your oils to come in the mail, we have the singles and the blends. Um, there's lavender, peppermint, and melaleuca in here. And this one, I believe, has On Guard and Digest Zen and Breathe in here. So um, to kind of get started and have on hand, we've got little samples. So there's um, a probiotic, the Deep Blue Rub, which helps with pain. There's On Guard and Breathe Cough Drops. There's On Guard Toothpaste. There's Slim and Sassy Gum. Um, tons of stuff that we didn't even talk about, but you can try different things and see what you think about those. And then we have, ooh, we have to stretch. Um, we have a folder here with um, lots of education and resources. So again, we're all about providing people with education. So this has a little um, safety with essential oils, how to dilute, what to do with your hot oils. It's got, um, and actually all of these tear pads. So a beginner tear pad, there's one on pain, there's one on pregnancy, birth, and babies. There's one on um, essential oils for seniors, uh, cleaning products, everything that you can think of, healthy skin, uh, to just have things on hand because we don't want people to feel lost and really um, it's coming to, it's an essential oil journey. It's a, it's a lifestyle change and that's what we're here to kind of help and support people with. Um, really my story with getting into this, I mentioned a little bit, I was diagnosed with a very rare sarcoma in 2011 and I was basically told you have a 50% recurrence rate and I really didn't like those odds and it was um, one to two out of a million people get them so we actually went to MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston and I asked them hey what can I do to ever prevent this from coming back as far as lifestyle and and nutrition and things and they told me just eat the standard American diet <laughs> I was like I ah, know I'm pretty sure so I got sick in the first place um, so it took me on this journey <laughs> And being open to trying different things and figuring out the root cause of things. And it turned out I had hip dysplasia. I had three hip surgeries on each hip to, um, it's a congenital thing. My hips just didn't kind of form naturally since birth. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease back in 2015. So it has been a journey and uh, I completely changed my nutrition and my health and the essential oils kind of fit beautifully in there for me because I needed things to support me. And for me personally, I tried a lot of prescription medications and things and it just wasn't working. Um, and actually the side effects just made it worse. <laughs> and it was so refreshing to me that I could, um, with Lyme, you can get a lot of crazy symptoms. You can have, um, your head can hurt, your tummy can hurt, you can feel sick, you can get numbness in your hands. And I could put an oil on all of those places and smell a little interesting, but my symptoms would go completely away. <laughs> And actually, nine times out of ten, people are like, you smell good. <laughs> like, what is that? And I'm like, it's a ton of things um, to kind of have on hand there. But I would love, we have, um, we have some really great leaders here on our team. Andrew over here, Julie, Pam, um, we're all here to support you. So if you guys have questions, please let us know. We have um, some essential life books. 
Those are in the back over there. They're $25. They're awesome. I highly recommend that people have resources and things to help them on this journey. Um, but feel free to grab a book if you want. You can flip through your health goals if you're not sure. If you have questions, um, please reach out to us. Let any of us know. We'd be happy to help you with that. Um, but hopefully, uh, let us too know if you guys have any questions or concerns. We have a fun um, Zoom viewer. Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Thanks for joining us. If you have questions too, feel free to unmute yourself and uh, let me know. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for joining us. We have people are, okay, we can sign up on Facebook if there are no questions. Goodbye. <laughs> but we record all of our classes for our, um, for our Facebook um, private groups. So we basically have this whole virtual library of classes. We have classes on pain, we have classes on um, pregnancy, birth and babies, healthy kids, all of these things. And um, we're doing classes regularly. I'm doing a class on Wednesday on essential oils for Lyme disease support. I'm kind of sharing my personal journey with all of that. So um, we're all about continually educating and sharing and um, and doing that. I don't even like when people are like, are you a doTERRA rep? I do not even like that word. I'm like, no, I'm an essential oil educator. <laughs> I feel like there's a big, a big difference with that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys don't have any other questions, um, let us know. You can feel free to look through the books. Feel free to get some snacks and stuff. Let us know if we can help you. Um, and Rodney, if you, thanks for joining us. And if you are interested, I will put my um, email in the comments. And you can email me if you're interested, and I'd be happy to help you as well. So I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining. Bye.